Introducing our latest update. A new version of our product designed with you in mind. This upgrade brings a fresh, user-friendly interface and an enhanced view that simplifies your work. In this video, we'll dive into the key improvements and show you how these changes will make your experience smoother and more efficient with Sectona PAM. Get ready to explore the powerful new features that makes the new version best for your environment. Let's see what has changed from the current version in your environment to new version. Most of the customers face challenge when working with multiple products to centrally manage user profiles and platform neutral configurations of Sectona's security platform. We heard our customers and to address these challenges in the new version, we have introduced a new page called as Platform Configuration. This helps to centrally manage user profiles and their respective login permission. It will help customers to control and define all the configurations and changes which are applicable across all products of Sectona security platform in one place. Let's talk about the first major change that is user management. Earlier, the user management section was available within PAM. Under user management, we had user, user groups and role management. The major challenge faced was when PAM was combined with PAG or EPM. This would hinder the user licenses to the product, as users enabled in PAM would by default be enabled for other products. Considering different teams can work on either PAM or EPM, user management was no longer a reliable option to be kept within the PAM portal, as it challenged the user product access process in scenarios where more than one product was enabled like PAM plus PAG or PAM plus EPM. Hence, with the new Sectona security platform, we have pulled some pieces of user management and placed them under platform configuration, since those are platform neutral options. Let's see what they are. So, you can navigate to platform configuration by selecting it from the product navigator. Head to the user management section and under that you will find three options, wherein users and role management are pulled out from PAM and we have introduced a new logon policy. In the user section, you can add a user and define the authentication type. Add details like first name, last name, email address, etc. Under policies, you can select the applicable logon policy and select the user role. Additionally, you can use options in additional info like company or department details, etc. Select applicable user settings. Under assign license, you can enable the license of the user for specific product, in this case, PAM. Define the instance and the user access policy, which will then be applicable to the user. And click on Save. Now that we have created user in platform configuration and defined their roles, the user will be pushed from platform configuration to respective product, in this case BAM. Let's see how it's reflected in BAM. Now we also have a user management section within BAM. So let's navigate to PAM from Product Navigator. Under Manage, we'll go to User Management. As you can see, the user is reflected here with Applied Policy and the status is set to Active. You can click on Edit button and make changes if required. Additionally, under Action button, you can define the group for this user, user alias, instance, entitlements, and security settings. Coming back to platform configuration in user role management, there are predefined user roles, but you can add new roles and define the access as read or write. Each role would have for one or all products in Sectona security platform. Next is the user access policy. Earlier user access policy was a single policy configuration, which consisted of all the configuration related to BAM portal login and target asset access related permission, making it difficult to explicitly define granular control at product level. Hence, in the new version, we have split the user access policy into two, making one as logon policy, which is at the platform configuration level and user access policy which is defined at product level. The logon policy allows to define product level access configuration for the specific users. 
Let's head to platform configuration. Under user management, we have logon policy. You may create multiple policies depending on the level of access you wish to grant. For example, you may want to set up restricted day-based access for remote users or add multi-factor authentication. Now, independent of user access policy, this section will help you define required logon policy details. We already have a policy in place. Let's check that. So here you can add restrictions for portal access based on type, schedule time if defined, IP address, concurrency, and MFA. This will define Sectona security platform related access to users to whom this policy would be applied. The specific product related user access policy can be configured in the respective product. The user access policy is configured to control the end user target asset access via the PAM portal. Let's jump to PAM. Under policies, we have a user access policy. You can add a new policy. In this case, we'll see the existing one. You can define parameters based on session, max session duration, any session banner that we want to display, access via jump server or RDP direct. In other details, you can define access request scope. Under Action button, you can manage permission for select access type. This policy would then be applied to individuals when pushing the users in PAM. In Sectona Security Platform, when users are newly onboarded into the system, first you need to create logon policy in Platform Configuration, then create user access policy in PAM, add a user and map the logon policy to the user. Map the instance and user access policy. That's the exact process that one must follow. Next, we'll talk about workflow management. Earlier in workflow management, you could request for access and password tickets. Whereas in Maker Checker, you could request for asset, account, and user management. Let's find out what has changed in the new version. For that, let's go to PAM. Under Policies, head to Workflow Management. While configuring the workflow request, the functionality of workflow remains the same, wherein you can add requests for access and password. And click on Save. But when adding requests for Maker Checker, you can see we can make requests for asset and account management. User management is not part of this configuration page which existed previously. Since we already discussed that user integration is moved to the platform configuration and adding users is platform neutral, hence the user management request category in the maker checker rule has now moved out of PAM. Let's check that. So we'll go to platform configuration from the product navigator and go to workflow. The process of adding the workflow request remains the same in this case too. Wherein you can select user management under maker checker option and save it. This is how workflow will function in the new version. Moving to the next topic, that is configuration tab in PAM. In the previous version, the configuration tab had certain sections like notification alerts, account defaults, plugins and connectors, general configuration, etc., which were applicable for multiple products, but there was no segregation for this process. The PAM admin had to manage the configurations for other products within PAM. Addressing the challenge with multiple portal administration and keeping segregated logs for the configuration activities, the configuration and system tab was segregated in platform configuration and setup page. We'll first focus on configuration, then we'll move to setup option. Let's see what it includes. For that, we'll go to platform configuration from the product navigator. Under general configuration, we can see a list of configurations like site address, appearance, 
वीडियो रिकॉर्डिंग एसएमएस गेटवे, ईमेल गेटवे, नेटवर्क प्रॉक्सी एंड सर्विस डेस्क अंडर कॉमन मास्टर्स यू कैन सी लोकेशंस, आईपी सेगमेंट्स, क्रिटिकलिटी लेवल्स एंड टैग्स अंडर ऑथेंटिकेशन यू कैन चेक एमएफए डायरेक्टरी स्टोर सेक्टोना ऑथेंटिकेशन एंड सर्टिफिकेट्स एंड फाइनली अंडर प्लग इन एंड कनेक्टर्स यू कैन चेक एसेट टाइप एंड एक्सेस टाइप These options were platform neutral and can be applicable to other products and so they are now part of platform configuration. Earlier the system tab consisted of some options similar to configuration tab which were platform neutral and so in the new version we have moved system tab and instead we have setup tab in place. The setup page consists configuration of respective product Let's check that out. So navigate to BAM from the product navigator. Head to the setup tab. Under setup tab, you can see account defaults, seam. Please note that seam is currently supported for BAM. In future when it will be configured for EBM, the seam server configuration will be moved to platform configuration, while the event configurations will remain specific to BAM and EBM. coming back instance manager landing and proxy server satellite vault and notification options like templates and rules were part of system tab and now are moved to setup tab there is also a section for notification within this tab for notification templates and rules associated with pam product also earlier system tab had other options as well like system status system log license etc so now these options are platform neutral and hence they are moved to platform configuration so navigate to platform configuration from the product navigator head to system column under that you can find options like system status log trail default license backup ha and about so all these platform neutral options can be configured here next we will talk about dashboard earlier the view in dashboard had limited customizations available users could view details related to assets accounts users productivity and health which had data display in predefined format in the new version the user experience would be enhanced with new dashboard This new dashboard has a view of assets and accounts in a single display. A different display for users. And a combined display for productivity and health. Furthermore, there's a refresh button available to refresh the data present. Also, you can bookmark the view so as to set them at the top of the list or delete the view if not required. Additionally, there is an option also to create a customized dashboard that will be applicable for respective admin view for a single view display. You can customize by marking the view as private or favorite and can also add different widgets in it as per your requirement. Earlier the analytics tab consisted of canned and custom report as well as user could schedule a report and create a custom report as per their requirements. In the new version the term canned is replaced by system report and custom is replaced by user defined report. The schedule option remains the same wherein you can select the existing report and schedule it as per defined requirements like recipient email format frequency etc similarly user defined report can be used to create a new report from the existing ones or can be done using build your own report option wherein you can select the data points parameters visualization etc The analytics part is divided into PAM and platform configuration. Analytics part in PAM focuses on PAM related activities whereas in platform configuration the analytics part focuses on user related activities. 
For this, you will navigate to Platform Configuration from the Product Navigator. Head to Analytics tab where you can find a list of system-defined reports. The option of Scheduler and Create Report remains the same. In my Access page earlier, under Asset section, you would see the option to connect to the asset based on the defined asset type. Under Account section, you can check out the password of the account associated with the asset type. Similarly, there were options for Task, Request and Approval. But in the new version, we have revamped the entire look and feel of my access page. So in the new version, under my access page, we have defined sections like my access, all tasks, my request, and my approval. We have merged account section under all assets. So when you click on the arrow on the extreme right screen, you can view the account associated with the asset along with the access type. Also, the checkout password option is added for same screen visibility. Everything you need to know with regard to assets will be visible under this option. Additionally, you can also mark the asset or assets as favorite. So whichever assets you access often will be visible under favorite section. If you have multiple assets in the system, you can also get a view of recently accessed assets over here. Any assets that's currently connected will be visible under connected section. Similarly, most accessed and never accessed will give information about the assets that are accessed often or never. Coming to the other options like all tasks, so the option remains the same, except that task bucket is a separate subsection in new version. Under my requests, you can add requests related to password, historical password or access. And any request pending for approval at your end will be visible under my approval section. Moving to the last section, that is Manage. In earlier version, under Manage, let's take an example of Asset Management. So in that, you had option of adding assets along with other options like Bulk Asset and Update Security Settings. Similarly, if you need to configure additional details with regards to specific asset, then those options were part of the action icon present in front of the asset. Let's see what has changed in the new version. Let's consider the same example of asset management. We have an option to filter the asset based on type. Separate option to add asset and add bulk asset. Additionally, the options associated with each asset type are listed. Like we have edit option to edit asset details. You can add the associated account under account button. The action button will enable you to add or update security settings. The trail and check status option is similar to the older UI option. These options are placed on the main screen to make it easier to navigate to different options. So, these are the UI level changes in the new version of PAM. More detailed explanation is incorporated in our courses at Sectona University. Additionally, you can also refer docs.sectona.com. Feel free to connect with Sectona support if you require any further assistance.